Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is your boy DJ Alex bringing you another live update uh, on the Adams Family Project. Uh, I know it's been about maybe three months since I uploaded the last video. Um, I know I had given myself a year to complete this uh, because, again, you know, a lot of factors came into this as far as, you know, money wise, um, finding the parts, and it's finding the time to, to, to dedicate myself to this project. But, um, I want to give you guys, I want to kind of show you what it looks like now after three months of, uh, of, uh, of, of new part replacements and some of the labor that I put into it and uh, kind of give you guys where I'm at. And approximately I'm about 90% complete. Uh, I can comfortably say that I'm 90% complete. Uh, so thankfully uh, it's coming along very well. Um, I still need a few things to, to work on uh, as far as uh, soldering the uh, some of the wiring, but I'll show you that in a minute. But again, I just want to kind of take this time to show you guys what it looks like now compared to my previous video of when I first got it. And if you guys want to see what it looked like before, you know, feel free to go back to my other video that was posted three months ago of the Adams Family. And you kind of guys can kind of see the, the differences. Uh, so here it is. Here's the Adams Family. So I want to show you guys the uh, the woodwork as far as like the, the cabinet. Uh, so I ended up restoring the cabinet. Uh, basically, I... Removed the old decals, took everything apart as far as the parts that were attached, um, and of course worked on some of the areas that were that were worn as far as the corners. There were some corner areas that that were just off. There was an extra hole made in this cabinet. There was so many stuff going on, and and again it did need a lot of work, a woodwork in order for me to make it look, in order for it to look you know more more like a pinball that doesn't have any defects, right? But this is where I'm at. So I ended up signing it down, you know, painting it, making sure everything was filled complete, right there, everything was smooth. Again, I, I this is the first time I ever do this, so so there's there's gonna be some areas that I, you know I did I did mess up on, which again I'm not gonna you know sit down and feel depressed about you know some of the areas where I where I messed up because again you can't you can't even tell. Um, and again, to me, for it being the first time, I mean I'm, I'm very happy with what it looks like. Uh, but as you can see, I'll let you see for yourself. There's one of the side arts, uh, brand new legs, uh, protectors. Um, that's one side of it. And of course, there is the uh, the side of the backboard. And then this area, I have not done anything to this yet. I need to paint that. I basically want to paint that white just to kind of make it look cleaner. Uh, in my last video, I also showed you the inside of the backboard. Um, Last video, if you guys, for those of you who watched it, if you noticed, I mentioned that the only thing that came with this uh, backboard, as far as uh, the the boards, was the W. What is it? The, the the power driver board here, right? That was the only thing that came in that that was that was attached to this. Everything else was bought. Um, I I bought all the the I bought the MPU, the Flippertronics board, the soundboard. The DMD board and this additional board here, I forget the name of this. Um, I had to buy it out. Thankfully, I was able to locate it uh, on some of these websites. I just don't remember the names, so I, I wouldn't be able to get you the names on where I found them. But thankfully, I was able to find those. Uh, so that's been replaced. Uh, DMD screen um, has been added on. I was able. My brother thankfully had a had a spare one, so it's the original the original orange uh, dot dot matrix uh, board. So. Uh, in the future, I do end up wanting getting the color one. Um, I also want to um, get some some nice speakers uh, once I upgrade it. And again, I also want to mention that the soundboard is just temporary. Uh, eventually, I want to turn upgrade it to a pin sound uh, soundboard, but that's again a later expense. Um, so that's that. That's that first part. Let me go ahead and close this real quick, and then I'll move on to the next. Sorry, my camera's all over the place. All right, so yeah, again, I'm gonna paint that completely beautiful white just to kind of make it look very nice. The next thing, if you guys remember, is the play field. This is what the old play field looked like. As you can see, it was bad. It was really gone, like everything was just worn, as you can see here, just terrible. So I ended up, you know, I knew I was gonna spend good money on it and I ended up doing that. So I ended up buying the a new play field. But not just the not just the traditional dark green one. I'm gonna show you guys. I ended up buying the glitter version right here. 
I love this this paper. It looks so so nice on it. It, it goes very well with this uh, with this pinball machine. Uh, it gives it a more a more up look. If you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> so I ended up buying that. Spent a couple more uh, uh, a couple more dollars on it compared to the original dark green. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, with the Adams family, you got to go all out, you know, as best as you can, right? If, if you know, if it permits, if you're able to afford it or not. But um, I just had to do it. So, thankfully, I was able to order it. It came from this company here. There it is. I think it's Micros Playfield in uh, Germany. So, so I'm very, very excited to receive it. Uh, so, I ended up buying that. Um, this is where I'm at as far as the top part. Nothing as far as plastic. Nothing as far as parts has been uh, updated. Just basically um, some of the metal basics. Uh, bookcase has been installed. Uh, target fields have been installed. Flippers have been installed. Not the rubbers yet. Uh, all these little plastic that I bought. I bought all brand new plastics. Uh, I've still got to complete the rest of it. Um, some of the mills, the, the ball guides, all that good stuff. So I ended up uh, putting all this first. Uh, some of the stuff that I did here. Kept the old ones, the old uh, plastics, but I ended up installing the uh, the wired uh, um, uh, sockets, the lamp sockets for these instead of the metal ones, traditionally metal ones. I hear, you know, it's better to use the other ones, but I'm going to give these a shot, and if I don't like them, I'll, I'll jump over to the next one. Uh, a lot of the metals you can see, I mean, they're not the best polished ones in the world. I'm not, again, I'm not, I don't have any profession on that, but I did it as best I can, right? So uh, the best as I can get it. Uh, but I did, however, buy a new ramp, so that's going to cover 90% of it, so 75% of it, right? Um, I did get the chair. Um, the scoops are still there. Same original scoops. Um, I still got another one to install the thing. Uh, I bought the, the parts. I assembled those parts, um, but still haven't installed it here yet. But that's what it looks like. Here's the other side of the Adams family. I kept the same rails here. They're not going to be the best. I mean, they're from the old one, but I would just, you know, give it a, new, a nice new clean, clean wipe and um, eventually I'll change them out later. But for now, uh, I just left that as this. And here's the inside. Excuse the mess. I've been working all my tools, all the soldering dust and all that. I got to clean it all out before I, uh, I, uh, I put all this together 100%, right? But this is what the play field looks like. It's almost there. New uh, flippers, uh, rebuilds. New magnets, uh, some new coils on some of these. Some old ones I kept, uh, but I'm thinking of maybe just replacing them all. Uh, these are the old coils. I left them as is from the old, you know, from the old cab, just so that way I can follow the, the color wiring. Uh, but as you can see, it's almost there. So I'm almost done. There's the uh, the thing scoop, the scoop, right? That's still something that I'm still working on to install. Uh, but it's almost there. Um, I put some of the stuff here already. And I still got to work on this thing, which I have the wires right over there. Uh, so, and then of course the coin door. I still got to buy the coin door, which um, I'll be getting that pretty soon. Uh, so I just want to give you guys an update on what it looks like. Um, I'll send you the next update. Uh, and that next update will be when I actually power it on for the very first time. So I just want to get you that, that kind of just, uh, the update because I know I had promised I was to do another video as I'm making progressions. Uh, but if you want to compare it to what it looked like last time, um, definitely check out my other video. Um, here are some other here are all the parts here that I that I've ordered. Uh, some of the plastic that I already installed with the riveting. Um, the new ramp's already been built. I just got to install that once it's ready to go. And of course, all this bunch of parts here. So as you can see, I still got remaining. So it's getting there, but you know, all in due time. Um, so that's all that's all the uh, the updates I have for you guys uh, let me know hit me up in the comments tell me what you think I mean be nice uh, keep in mind that I'm not the uh, the the professional restorer like many of those videos out there uh, but you know let me know if, uh, if there's something that you recommend or if there's any other suggestions you know I'm all for it uh, but in the meantime um, thank you guys for watching and I will get you another update. Oh, and also I'll be updating some of the new games that I got. Here's a preview. I ended up getting the getaway. Another exciting uh, pinball machine. Um, I got Revenge Mars. I sold the uh, Brighter Pinball. I had a South Park. I sold that one as well. And I'm working on getting the Star Wars still. I'm still, I, I know I've been saying this in every video, but it's coming pretty soon. So I'll have the matching, uh, 
uh, pinball with the uh, the the 1999 uh, pinball uh, style, uh, but the Star Wars this time. So I'll have that, and then of course in the future I'll end up buying more. But here's some of the other stuff I have there: Crazy Taxi, Outrun. I sold an original Galaga recently. My Mame, uh, Deal No Deal, Flaming Finger, and a bunch of mess here. But and then my Blitz over here. But there's still a lot of mess. Uh, there's really nothing that I have done to this game room, but. Once I'm done with the Adam's family, then I'll have more time to spend here in my garage with setting up the game room 100%. So until next time, I'll see you later, guys. Thank you.